Good morning. Today we are going to discuss about the topic transportation, the circulatory system in human bodies. So what is this circulatory system? It is one of the important systems of our body. We have different systems to perform different life processes. So among those systems, the circulatory system is a very important system and it is also called as transport system. Now let us see its importance and why it is called as a transport system. It is called as a transport system. The name itself tells that it helps in transport. What kind of transport? We have seen in the previous two lessons, nutrition and in respiration. To make a human body alive, to keep all the cells in our bodies alive, they are to be supplied with some materials like glucose and oxygen. So glucose and other nutrients. Basically, these two things are to be supplied. We are getting the nutrients from the plants or animals and we have taken them into our body by eating, chewing, digesting, nutrients are available. Where they are available? The nutrients are available in the digestive system, in the intestine, there they are available. But where are the cells? Cells are there throughout our body. So the nutrients at the place of production, where they are converted into simple nutrients in the digestive system, in the small intestine. So the nutrients are available in the digestive system, but they are to be supplied to various cells of our body, even the oxygen. So the oxygen is made readily available in the, di in the respiratory system, in the lungs, in the alveoli, exchange of gases takes place. So from this alveoli, this oxygen is to be supplied to all the cells. And water, even we drink water, that is also to be supplied to various parts of our body. So that supply, the transport is achieved by the transport system or the circulatory system. So the circulatory system, it transport the various substances, that is the glucose or the other nutrients like uh, other amino acids, fatty acids, vitamins, minerals, that everything which is obtained by the digestion of food in the digestive system. From the digestive system, these nutrients are carried and supplied to all the cells, all the cells by the transport system. Even the oxygen is to be supplied in each and every cell. Cellular respiration must take place to produce the energy. So for that cellular respiration, the oxygen is also supplied to the cells. So not only this, not only <coughs> the supply of uh, nutrients and oxygen, but the energy production is not only the main objective of the circulatory system. So everything is supplied to the cells and inside the cells activity is going on and during this biochemical activities or biochemical reactions or during this cellular respiration, what are produced? Energy is produced of course, energy is produced but along with energy what else are produced? Materials like carbon dioxide is produced. Materials like urea is produced. So these are all waste materials, toxic materials. If they accumulate in the cells for a longer period, it leads to some kind of effects on the body. Certain toxins may destroy the cell itself if they are accumulated for a long time. So these materials are to be sent out of the cell, sent out of our body. So they are to be taken to the excretory system. Say this urea is to be taken to our excretory system. What is this include? Kidneys. And this carbon dioxide is to be sent back to alveoli. Again for sending it out. So again this has to be sent out. Urea is, it has to be sent out of the body. So who can send it out? Urea can be sent out by kidneys but kidneys are at separate place. Urea is produced in all the cells of our body. So this urea is to be carried to the kidneys through the circulatory system. 
So, circulatory system, it supplies the nutrients, oxygen and other things to the cells. It helps in the process of uh, generation of energy. And after that, during cell activities, whatever the waste materials are produced, all these waste materials are carried to the excretory organs, respective excretory organs for the excretion.